look who it is, it's me, Jean-Francois CD. This is not my channel. Well, it is going to be on my channel too, but for some of you that are not on my channel, familiar, you're on her channel. <laughs> Anyways, so today I did Heather's makeup with an H. Heather with an H. Yes. So if you want to learn how to do this cut crease, teal with nude lips look, keep on watching. So first we're going to use the HD foundation from Makeup Forever in the shade 153. Now as a base I'm going to use Soft Ochre from MAC and I'm just going to apply that everywhere on the lid so we'll have a strong emollient base. Next step we're going to use Lise Wetzier Eye Shine in Peacock and I'm going to actually do a cut crease look so I'm just going to use this as sort of a base. So I'm starting way almost underneath the brow. So I'm going very lightly. Well, just a flat, stiff brush. And I'm just diffusing that color just a little bit before it sets. On the outer corner, I'm going a little bit thicker <laughs> and just before it sets once again you just want to take the product and just blend it upward just a little bit so we'll start working on that gradients of color next I'm going in with a nice shadow from Nice Wet I'm sorry I don't have the name but it's a very dark turquoise color you could also use MAC Parrot I believe I'm using the same brush. Make sure you tap off any excess. And I'm just going to apply that right at the root of where we applied the eye shine from Mise Wet Tank. And I'm gently brushing the color upwards. Now I'm taking just a clean brush and I'm just going to fade the edges a little bit. Next, I'm going to take Plumage from MAC. It is a very, very, very deep turquoise color. Teal. Teal, yeah. And I'm just going to use an angled brush. I'm just going to apply that. I'm just going to make our cut crease more sharp. So I'm just applying that right where we applied the previous eyeliner. Now I'm just, once again, bringing the color upwards. I'm setting at the root of our cut crease and I'm just gently flicking the color upwards. Now I'm going to take a matte black color. You could use carbon or NYX black, but I'm doing literally the same thing just to create some more depth. So I'm just really focusing on applying that right to the very edge of our cut crease. Now I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. This one is the 227. Once again, I'm just going to blend the edges. You probably can't see. Okay. Now I'm going to use the Naked Pigment from MAC, which is basically just a skin tone color with a tiny bit of shimmer in it. I'm just using a stiff flat brush and I'm just going to apply that right on the lid where we didn't apply any dark color. I'm going to apply my highlight color. I'm going to use Grow Light. I'm just taking a pencil brush, putting this right underneath the brow. Right now, I'm going back in with my Lee's Wet Day Eye Shining Peacock, and I'm just going to line or you know, sorry, bottom lash line. I'm just going to go halfway. Then I'm going in with my angle brush and that Lee's Wet Tea Teal color that I don't know the name of, I'm sorry. Just press that right on top. Now I'm taking just another brush just to a little bit smoke the lower lash line. Next I'm going to take a black liner. I'm just going to line her waterline. I'm going to go back in with my angle brush and black eyeshadow. Look up. I'm still going in with my angle brush and I'm just going to press that color right into her 
her lashes, close your eyes. Then I'm going to use, of course, my Lise Watier pigment in Folie Blanche. And I'm just applying a tiny bit right into the tear duct area. Next, I'm going to contour Heather's face with Blunt from MAC. And I'm just going to use a angled blush brush. Okay, good angle, Jaya. I'm starting at the top of your ear. And I'm just following your jawline. Then with Sweat Left, I'm just going on the temples. Remove the pubes. Just like that. On the other side. Remove the pubes. <laughs> So then I'm going to be applying lashes from Ardell in the 1, 2, 0. Next, I'm going to fill in Heather's brows with the color Omega right over here. Next, I'm going to use the blush from MAC called Everson. Without the H. Without the H. There's no H. It's ever sun. I'm going to apply with a, a, a paddle, a paddle brush, huh? Yeah, me. Oui. You need to do the sound. Do it with me. Yeah. I went ahead and lined her lips with a lip pencil from NYX called. Natural, and I'm also filling them in with the same color. Then to top off the lips, I'm going to use Young Thing as a lip gloss, which is basically a champagne color. So there we have it guys, a very nice teal cut crease look and a very glossy nude lip. So we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh, peace. 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 <laughs> Listen to what's so funny. Three. Oh, God, that's I can't talk. <sighs> Siobhan. 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 Shavana. Shavan. Like that name. Bot. 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 Then I'm just going to line her waterline. Her, her waterline. <laughs> my name <laughs> is Lavi. Hello, my name is Heather Ill, and I am happy right now. I don't talk like that, do I? Heather. Well, actually, for the naughty or nice one and stuff like that, you, Heather is gonna be too. <laughs> no! <laughs> the worst thing is like. No! <laughs> I think it's because it, the sound doesn't pick it up. A H. <laughs> the H. <laughs> oh no, my eyes are gonna water. <laughs> The H in the name. Good thing he's chewing gum. <laughs> that was totally on you, and so the feathers are like, oh. <laughs> it's like, it's like, whoosh. Goes onto the waterline just to steal everything. <laughs> Where are you looking up? You're waiting for Jesus? No, it's drained. It drained. Tight is maybe not the word, but <laughs> wow, your <laughs> lips look so tight. <laughs> so, Andy, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just spit on my wrist. <laughs> Guess I'm funny. <laughs>